with you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be showing you how to remove locked files or or undeletable files like this malicious rogue here that's running on the system I'm going to share to delete these with free programs now there's a lot of these free programs about like file assassin from malwarebytes it's also file governor is the one we're going to be trying out this time which is by novirusfanks.org as also move on boot and stuff like that so we can see we've got an infection on here and I want to remove this uh, on reboot so what we're going to do is have a look at our program so file governor is a portable program that allows you to kill this process and delete it on reboot which is ideal for malicious files just like these rogues and stuff so let's have a look at how we can run this you can see here we've got 32-bit and 64-bit first off I'm going to go to folder and search options here view and show hidden files and folders and drives also take the tick out of hide extensions now once we've done that I'm going to try to click on uh, file governor underscore times 86 that's the 32-bit version now sometimes it will stop it it will block it but if it does then you need to rename this file but first off let's try and see if we can get away with it well we can that's good so now we've got this open as you can see here it gives you access to all these areas task manager registry editor system restore and so on so with that said we can actually run some of these here we can't do it at the moment because the actual program is blocking them okay as you can see here it shuts them down but what we can do is use the actual delete facility in it now it's got a false delete and it's also got a reboot delete file so we're going to do that or you can rename the file so let's do a reboot delete file it's going to ask for the location now the location for this is on this icon here I know where it is I'm going to go to properties here and as you can see we know it is in the program data file uh, so we can see this file here what we're going to do is browse go to uh, the C drive here and inside here there's a folder now that's visible called program data and the reason why it's hidden uh, visible is because we're shown that folder inside search options okay so I'm going to go inside here and it will be inside here we need to go in here and there you can see the culprit now the reason why I've showed the extensions is so I can see the .exe file extension and that's the one we want to kill so I'm going to open this and now we've got this open what I'm going to do is delete and it says file will be deleted on next reboot so let's uh, try that so I'm just going to quickly reboot the system and hopefully that will be the end of that so we'll let this reboot now and see if we can uh, remove this virus and there we are back at the desktop the rogue is now not running we should have full access to our system as you can see here and now what I would do is run my cleaning program ie malwarebytes or something like that to to remove the rest of the remnants that's left behind okay so let's try that once more with something else infected again so what we'll do again is we'll try our program once more I'm going to open it up I'm going to try file governor again okay now you can see it's closing it down it's not letting us run this as file governor so we're going to have to rechange this uh, file name so what we're going to do here is quickly rename this I'm going to try win logon something like that we're going to rename that file run this and we're now running as you can see so we've got that running again what we can do is reboot delete file browse to the location and there's no icon here so you'd have to hunt for it but I'm pretty sure you've been watching my videos for a while you you can sort of guess where they are roughly in these sort of areas here so we're going to delete this file and then delete that on reboot click OK and reboot the system quickly
Okay, we'll let this boot back up. And there we are back at the desktop and we should be free to run other programs on the system now. As you can see, we're up and running. And that's basically how you can delete these uh, nasty pesky rogues and other undeletable files on the system. Okay, You can't just delete these files, you need to use this method and you should be back up and running in no time. Now there's many different ways of skinning a cat, but this is just one way. Okay, So I just thought I'd show you another little way of doing this and I hope it helps you out. So my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, hit that subscribe button. That will keep you up to date with all my latest videos. And also hit the like button, guys. It really does help me out. And I'll see you again in the next video. So thanks again for watching, guys. And thanks for your support. Have a great weekend. Bye for now.